Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. This is the Excel tips section. We're looking at the cause of big Excel files. If you want to follow along with the tip, you can go to ExcelExperts.com and search the site for cause of big Excel files and you'll, you'll find this tip along with a download. So I've got this sheet here. If I have a look at the file size right now, it's 19K. So I'm going to go and do some actions and have a look at the implication of the actions on the file size. So the first thing is to type Nick and copy that down everywhere. So now we have 65,000 Nicks. Too many, some might say. So I'll save this and have a look here. So the size is now 2,365 so a lot of people think that if you format a column, uh, it uses a lot of uh, size, but it doesn't actually. So let's show that now. If I change the color of that column and save it, oh, please don't do that, and go here, it's exactly the same, 2365. Let's remove the text and show you that this doesn't actually take up any space. So this should go back to 19, 19. Let's put back the text. Let's change the column font. So I'll change this to Arial and save that. 2365. So that doesn't change it. Let's go back here and remove the text. Save it again. Back to 19. Let's put back the text and save it. 2365. Okay, let's alternate the formatting now. So one cell, Arial, the other cell, Calibri or Cambria. So I'll copy this down to the bottom. So that's 65,000 alternate cells. Now you'd intuitively think that that should increase the file size. Let's have a look at that. No, it doesn't. Exactly the same. 2365. The interesting thing happens when you remove the text. Cleared all the text. Save this. Now, you would hope that that would go back to 19 as it was before. But no, it's now at 1075. So, it seems that something is being saved there. Some of the formatting is being saved. Let's put back the text and resave it. We go back to 2365. Let's copy formatting across from this column. See what happens there. Save that. 2365, so it's unaltered. Interesting. Now let's remove the text and save it. Well now it goes back to 19k. That's good, that's what you'd expect. Let's put back the text and we're back to 2365. Let's add borders and then remove the text. So simple addition of borders. Save that. See the impact? No impact. Remove the text. Save it. 19K. Let's add alternate borders. So one like that, one like this, and alternate fonts. So that one, Arial. That one, Calibri. Let's copy that down. See the effect of that. So that, that formatting actually makes it very big. So when you alternate the cell formats, that increases the size of the file a lot. Let's put back the text. Copy, paste special values, save this. That goes back up to 2365. So let's just copy this this text 
to the next column and clear this. Now you'd expect that the file size would stay at 2365, but it doesn't. It's gone up. It's gone up to 3 megs now. Well, that's interesting. We haven't actually added anything extra. We've just put this text in another column. So let's put back the text. Delete this one and save it again. And we're back to 2365. Now, this is an interesting one. Let's go to the middle of the spreadsheet. So we'll go to cell E32000. Uh, and then let's select all the way to the bottom. We're going to delete these cells, but we're going to do it like this. I'm going to select column A to G and right click, delete and shift left. Okay. Let's resave that file. Now you'd expect the file size to be half, but it isn't. It's only down an absolutely tiny bit. So down to two. So something odd is happening there. Let's go back here and let's actually delete exactly the same, but we'll delete it shifting up. See if that makes a difference. Shouldn't. And yes, it does. It makes a huge difference. So I think what we can conclude here is that there are some odd things going on that aren't logical, but the bottom line is Format your, your cells as entire columns. That seems to be the most efficient way, or as large ranges, or format large ranges with exactly the same format. If you start introducing different formats, whether it be the, the text, the font size, bordering, any of that kind of stuff, whether it's visible or invisible, that can bloat your file size. And keep in mind also that even though you have no data in these columns at all, and you may not see any visible sign of formatting, your file size will still be bloated. Let's just get rid of all of that formatting just to prove this. So here it looks as if I've got nothing. But I have. There's something still there. You've been listening to... ExcelExperts.com on the cause of big files. The recommendation is if you have a big file and you've done some formatting and you think you may have done some formatting errors, copy the values to a new sheet, a completely new sheet, and add back the formatting yourself manually in large ranges. Okay, good luck and thank you for listening.